It's, I gotta go, I you, gotta go. You gotta talk to him. I'm gonna call him, I promise you I'm gonna call him. I will. You do not ghost Nick Fury. Hey and welcome back to the Richest Day. My name's Ruben and this is my review for the first three episodes of The Crowded Room. I have all the screeners, but the, only the first three dropped this Friday. So I didn't want to do any spoilers, but kind of give you an idea of what this is actually about. Because even if you've watched the first two episodes, you're still going to be confused. So let's jump in and talk about The Crowded Room. In Manhattan, in the summer of 1979, a young man is arrested for a shocking crime. An unlikely investigator must solve the mystery behind it before the true criminal strikes again. There's a deep mystery of puzzle playing here so we have this interviewee by amanda siegfried and then we have tom holland who's been interviewed and we see why he's been interviewed as the episode of one kind of builds up to a moment that's going to be the instigator for the whole of the series now i would say for you to really understand where this is going you need to at least watch the first three episodes before you say to yourself now i'm tapping up I, I still don't get what's going on there's a big reveal at the end of episode three that makes you go oh i kind of get it now which is why you need to give some series time to build the world in the story. Now for me, I think Tom Holland is playing his character perfectly. Some of the best work I've seen from him. Great understated presence, a character that feels very broken, very used, a broken family relationship, finds a surrogate family relationship and doesn't want to say anything negative about them. He's that sort of character. And then when you see the puzzle pieces of what's been going on around him, you feel kind of sorry for him. So he's the underdog and everybody seems to be using him in some way. And you're rooting for him to get out of the mess, but you can't seem to be able to get out of the mess. That's the puzzle shape that's taking form in this first three episodes. Because of what's coming next, you can tell that you're going to need to be rooting for him. It's sort of tense, but it also is mesmerizing in the way it's filmed. It's a series I could have watched at the cinema, beautifully created between aesthetically pleasing shots that are dark and grim in places where it needs to be to create that atmosphere and the tone of the brutality of this young kid's life in places, but also the romance very well established in the time that it's set in and the place it's set in. And I think from costume design to sets all really kind of places you in that. Also with the score kind of again adding doubling down and getting the viewer there. And I was. It's easy to be mesmerized by this series. The acting for the most part is fantastic. There's no weak link. In fact there's characters that you love to hate. And whenever you get those characters you know they're doing a good job. You look at that person and go oh I really wish they would die. Or somebody would you know sort them out and give them the beating that they do. If you get that sort of reaction and emotional it, it, it evokes an emotion then you know the writers have done something well. The filmmakers have created something for you to be get, to get kind of steered into. So as a first three episodes, I think this is excellent. I can't wait to talk about the full season, but for now, definitely stick this on your watch list. It's so far reminding me a little bit of Blackbird. Not quite as dark as that, but I have a feeling it's gonna get darker. Let me know, are you excited to watch this? Have you got Apple uh, TV Plus? If not, just try the, I think you can get a week free and just check it out. They haven't sponsored me, but I love Apple TV because there's so many great TV series, especially with great quality that a lot of other series just give a whole bunch of junk in amongst, you have to find the, the diamond in the rough. But for the most part, Apple TV series are mostly good. So why not check it out and have a have a go at this series. Let me know what you think about this series. I think it's well worth the time. Um, very, very, very well put together. Thanks so much for watching. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.